It's unbelievable. I'm just I'm so happy to be home at the same at the same time. You know, it's been a long haul. It's been a, it's been five and a half weeks. Just looking forward to getting home now and I'm just putting the feet up for a few weeks. You know, I'm taking a bit of a break. But uh, I'm just delighted with the with the whole competition and how it went for me. Performance. I gave 100 percent in every fight. I was unlucky in the last in the final. I thought I had the beating of, of, the, of the Chinese guy, but I was just unfortunate in the, in the fight. You know. I'm very very proud. You know, um, I gave it 100. 100%. Some uh, some people were, were kind of criticizing, saying why I was happy, you know, the second the bell went, considering I'd lost to, a, to someone who people thought I would beat. But I knew that in the moment I did give it my all, and I couldn't have done it anymore. And it was no point crying over spilled milk because, you know, that wasn't going to change the result. And what I did do was rejoice that the the achievement, and that was a bronze medal, an Olympic bronze medal, and no one can take that from me. But I made it, I lost the fight well, but getting no points at all is a bit important. I'm going to dead hit him. Yeah, they double world champion. They got a bronze in the last Olympics. And he started to get us again the first in the final. And it's one of the best boxers I've ever fought in my life. Just, he deserved to go battle. Oh, it's, been, it's been amazing just like going to different countries. And, but especially the Olympics, it's just been an amazing experience. It's, it's amazing. You know, like it still hasn't really hit me yet. I remember all those years ago watching Michael Crew, the final of his you know, Olympic final. And him taking the gold, and I really thought in my heart to heart that like I had it in me to, to you know, to go out and do the same. But I just fell short. There was a couple of scars there that were a bit dodgy, you know. But you know, like I had, you know, that medal was in my hand at one stage. I just, I just slipped. I just slipped away, you know. It kills me. It's killing me today. It's, it's, it's you know, even after the fight, I was, I was cursing myself. I, and it can still haunt me today, and it'll always haunt me. But I have the silver medal, so you know, like, I can't be too bad at myself. But uh, I'm just proud to be be home now and, and be Irish and be Irish. And, you know, this this means everything to me. This Olympic medal. That's all. That's it. It still hasn't hit me the whole thing. You know, kind of, I don't think we really understood what we've actually achieved. So at the moment, we're just, you know, fo- like this just feels like any other tournament. But we're coming back, and the kind of the reaction is crazy. They're saying that the nation was going mad and we just can't comprehend that because you know out there in the Olympic Village we were really closed off from everything I had minimal contact with home because you know I said I wanted to just go out there and focus on you know my performance and and not to be kind of distracted by outside influences so you know it, it's just uh, I'm, it's just it's just uh, surreal definitely surreal I was going to get home with the family right now and relax and and celebrate what I'm at to achieve and you know and and kind of let it all settle in and uh, and sink in what we've done but um you know, the I think the future is bright for me now. That's just giving me a lot of, you know, um, opportunities and uh, and options for the future. But one one of the things was always keen on my mind was to go professional now. And I think now that I'm at to achieve in kind of the pinnacle of my my amateur sport. So it would very be very hard for me to get myself up for anything else. So I kind of need a new challenge. And I think that's hopefully where the professional game will come in. But it's all about finding the right team. And then hopefully I'll be ready to go by the start of 2009. We ha- I haven't slept. We've been traveling, you know, for over since since six o'clock this morning Beijing time. So uh, it's now 12 midnight over there. So I haven't slept. I'm knackered. 2012, gonna try to bat- battle the color of this medal. 2021, still have a lot to learn. And hopefully by 2012, it'll be 25 and I've learned everything. I'll get the gold. Hopefully, yeah, definitely brilliant. Um, John and Adam lost the World Silver Medal stand, but the big champion John and Joyce lost the count back. That's Carson. He, he drew for the Olympic champion, and the, field, the rest of the lads get medals. We all lost the champions. Captain Barnett.